couple of things you want to get. I mentioned earlier, you're going to need a cooling rack. A wire cooling rack works best. If you don't make bread very often and you don't have one, you can pick these up off of Amazon. Like a two pack is around, I'm thinking around $10. If you want to have perfect slices of bread, you can get a device made for that. Also, I picked this up off of Amazon a few years ago. It's actually worked great. Um, I think it was around six or seven dollars. Basically, it has an adjustment on the end here that you can control how thick the slice is. Um, because homemade breads are usually a little more dense than store bought breads, I usually keep it on the thinnest slice. And then you're going to need a bread knife. Basically, the bread slicer has a slot where you put the knife, you put the loaf in until you hit your thickness plate, and then you just slice. You want to cut at a slow rate, don't push too hard, let the knife actually cut the bread. So here's what the first slice looks like. It's still warm. It's not like hot, but it's still warm. It smells so good. There we go. I am actually going to make me a sandwich with this and I am going to chow down. By the way, you will learn making bread the heel is always the best part.